y'all get ready. Clear your throats. <coughs> ready? We're going to sing His Lord, okay? For His Lord, He is Lord. He has risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It did me a bit of good because I heard myself again. So it must be my head stopped up, and I'm just saying it to myself, but I see y'all's mouth a bit. Okay? So that means something. You don't have to open your Bibles, but if you would like to, you can turn to Acts, the, second, the third chapter, and I probably won't read much there, but I want to tell you about a little story that you've heard so many times. You've heard it so many times, where Peter and John was going into the temple to worship, and as they was going to the temple to worship, they passed, and it was a crippled guy that they took there, and the Bible says they laid him there at the gate daily so he could ask alms of those that was going in the temple. He was a needy person. He was sort of like the homeless people that stand on the street in Nashville asking for someone to give them something. He was crippled, so there he lay there. As they went through the, to the temple, he would lay in a good spot. He had a good spot where people that was going to worship, they could see him and they could get moms. And when Peter and John came through, they, did, they were sort of like I've been before. I don't know about the spiritual part, but about being broke. Amen. They were broke. Yeah. They didn't have anything to give him. But they had more to give him really than they realized or he realized. Yeah. They just didn't have any money. They had no silver or gold. So just, Peter said, silver, he fastened his, fastened his eyes upon him. Him and John, both of them, looked at him. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. And he said, silver, go, I have I none, but that which I have, I give thee. Rise up and walk, and took him by the hand. Rise up and walk in the name of the Lord. And as he pulled him up, his, the Bible says his ankle bones received strength, and he went rejoicing and praising God and went with them to church. Yeah. That's what it says. He went to church with them. Amen. Yeah. Now, I, I've been thinking a lot about that. I believe in, I really believe if the Lord's in your heart and you serve the Lord, you're going to go to church. Yeah. Don't you think that? Yeah. Bless it, you didn't hear think that, I know. Yeah. You want to go to church. And I was thinking some things this weekend, and I, I don't really. Well, I said I didn't have a message, but I got what God's given me. Yeah. And, and I was thinking about some things this week, and I was thinking about the change. And then it sort of hit it near the Sunday school class when it said the last days now be a falling away. Yeah. Men become lovers of pleasures. That's what it says. Yeah. More than lovers of God. He says to us, from such, turn away. Yeah, Don't be like them. Stay away from them. Don't be like them. Turn away. Stay on far for God. There's some things that's, that, that we haven't seen in a while that we used to see very commonly. Can you yeah. think of some of them? You can nod your head. Yeah. We used to see them very commonly. There's some things we don't see in our worship service that we used to see very commonly. Mm -hmm. Corona's taking things, taking things away from us. We allowed it to do that. Bless you, Lord. We have allowed it to yeah. do that, but it's taking some things away from us. Yeah. It's taking our praise away from us. Yeah. It's put us in a state of depression, in a state of nervousness, in a state of anxiety. But we still serve the same God. Yeah. He's still the same Lord. He still has the same power. He still wants to empower us through his Holy Spirit to yeah. worship him and not let nothing stand in the way of worshiping him. It's true. Why? I'm scared we go out of things to come between us. Yeah. Maybe we, we acknowledge him, but do we worship him? Do we praise him? Many of us run from Corona, including myself, when it first happened. And I'm still not going around it if I know it's there. But many of us run from Corona. Corona while we was running from Corona, we was running away from God somewhat too. That's true. That's true. It's okay to run from yep. Corona, but we ought to run to God in yep. crisis. We shouldn't run from Him. We should run to Him. If yep. anything, we should live a little better. Yeah. Amen. Praise a little more. Pray a little more. Yeah. Shout a little more. Amen. Yeah. Give a little more. Why? Bless him, Father. That's what God says do. Praising 
God. This fellow received his strength and he went with them to church. Usually when people receive something, they go to church. Yeah. Anybody know the young lady that sat back there a while ago? Did you know her? Anybody know her? I didn't know her neighbor until last night. And I told her, I asked her, was it okay to share the experience that I had? She had a toothache. If you notice, it was swollen. And she had to leave. She said, I'll be back. I said, you come? She said, I'll be back tonight. And I said, and it made me feel bad. I almost said, okay, I'll be here. But this is then me and her and whoever come with her. Because we hadn't planned the service. So I told her, be back next Sunday morning. I tell you the experience. Y'all know JoJo? Raise your hand if y'all know JoJo. Everybody should know JoJo. He's a, he's a nice guy. Real nice guy. And he, uh, uh, she, this lady's having problems, and I'm going to tell you, and you don't carry out nowhere else. She said, I, she said she wanted me to share it with y'all. She's on meth. She's on meth. She's been off of it two or three days, and she's seeking God for healing. And she came, JoJo knocked on my door yesterday evening, and I don't know why God sends people like this to me. I really don't, but he has all my life. And I'm not complaining, Lord. I'm not complaining. And he got out and he said, There's a, a, somebody needs help out here. And she called around and she couldn't find no help. And I told her I knew somebody would help her. Joe just said that. Oh, man, what a boss. That's the best boss I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. If you know Joe Joe, you know what I mean. Joe Joe said, I've been to his church and he tells me just like he is. Just like it is. And I said, well, what's her name? So I went out and she came meet me. Jojo's mom and her came meet me. And she said, I'm demon possessed. I got demons in me. Telling me to do things. I've been there before. But it's not always easy for me. I said, wait a minute. Because I take it serious. A lot of people think that's a phony thing. I said, wait a minute, you stop right there. And she did. And I said, let me pray. So I prayed. And then I said, now come on. I want to put things in check because listen, when, when demon spirits come out, they go somewhere. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and they won't come in a clean heart. Yeah. They'll go in a, a defiled heart. And she came and I set her down and I pulled the chair up on the porch and I sat down in front of her. And I said, I want you to do me a favor. She said, I'm willing to do anything. I just want to be free. I said, would you say Jesus Christ? And she said, Jesus Christ. Would you say, I love you, Jesus Christ? And she said, I love Jesus Christ. And I said, you don't have it, demon. You're not demon possessed. You might be sin possessed, but there ain't no demons in you. They wouldn't have allowed you to say Jesus Christ. And they wouldn't have allowed you to say I love him. Because they can't bear that. And I said, but you do need prayer. I said, what do you need? And she said, I said, have you ever been born again? She said, yes. And I said, have you ever been baptized? She said, yes. I said, are you living for God? She said, no. I said, are you on drugs? She didn't tell me she's on drugs for them. I said, are you on drugs? She said, I have been. I said, how long has it been since you had some? She said, it's been a little while. She said, I gotta have peace. She said, in my brain, I, I, I just, it's just not normal. I gotta have peace. I want peace. And I said, if you're not living right, you need to take it to God and you need to surrender everything to God. She said, I'm willing to do that. How do I do that? And I told her, you've got to put your trust in the Lord. And you've got to ask him to forgive you. And you've got to be willing as you asked him to obey him and live for him. He will not forgive you if your intentions just get ease of your pain. He will forgive you if you're sincere and you want to serve him. It's true. A lot of people want to get forgiveness yeah. so they can feel better. <laughs> That's it. But you need to get forgiveness so you can do better. Amen. Yeah, that's true. Serving the Lord. So we pray. 
And we'll go through praying. I, I do this, and I, I know it works, so I'll do it. You can debate it if you want to. I don't need to debate it. And after she prayed, I said, Will you do me a favor? She said, What? And I said, Just raise your hands up. She's doing anything I ask her. I wish everybody would do that. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And she raised her hand. I said, I want you to look up to the heavens. She did. And I said, I want you to say, Jesus. She said, Jesus. I said, Enter. Uh, I, and she repeated after me, Enter my heart. And she said, Enter my heart. She went, Woo! <laughs> you can almost see Jesus enter her heart. Yeah. She came to church this morning. I told you, and she said I could share that. And she sat there with a toothache. And she said, I might can try. She said, I don't think I can. And sister brought her. Amen. Yes, sister. Mm -hmm. And we didn't rejoice a little bit there, did we? Yeah. i tell you something. Let me brag on this sister here. And Jojo. They brought her over. They was her watchman, Billy. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, when we see people in need, we need to take them to get some help. Yeah. Exactly. We don't need to say, well, that's none of my business. It is your business. Mm -hmm. It is your business. Your sp the spirituality of anybody you come in contact is your business. Yeah. You might not can get them conformed. You might, but it's your business. When you see someone needing, it's your business. And if you see someone needing the Lord, it's our business. It's church business. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. To lead people to the Lord and to take people to hell. Amen. Well, I want to talk about praising God. I think I'm going to. Bless you, Lord. Praising God. You might not have the spirit of praise this morning. That's okay. Well, that's not okay. But you might not have it. Amen. But you know, I see. I look around. I see people that's had coronavirus sitting in the midst. Don't get up and leave. They're over it. <laughs> They're over it. And I thought about that. I, I jotted in, in the middle part of my uh, mind. I, I jotted down. If you've had corona and survived, you ought to praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. And if you haven't had corona, and you're sitting here today, you ought to praise the Lord. Absolutely. I'm telling you, there's always something to praise the Lord about. Yeah. If you've got children and they're healthy, you ought to praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you got food on your table, you ought to praise the Lord. Because there might come a time where you can remember these good days, but not they'll not be so good. That's true. If your bills are paid, you ought to pay praise the Lord. Yeah. At least up for this month. Yeah. Right. You ought to praise the Lord. Amen. I've noticed since Corona, there's a lot of things that's happened. The church has went down in number. I, I don't think God numbers his people. He knows where they're at, wherever they're at. But the church has went down in number. It amazes me. I don't want to harp on it. it. The churches went down in number and we hadn't had to limit them. You ever notice that? We hadn't had to limit them. We, don't, we didn't limit it to 25 or 30 or 40. We never done that. But a lot of places, uh, 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 they're limited to 8,000. And there's more than that to come. But they limited it. We still got space, amen? That's true. Only the church is not limiting people. But only the church has got small crowds. Yeah. Isn't that something? I've said it before, I'll say again, Satan can use this, and he's using it, yeah. and he can use it among believers, but I'm asking you this morning, don't let Satan use this virus to get a hold to you. It's true. Because God's still in control. Amen. Amen. God's in control. Jessica was the girl's name, and I want you to pray for her. If she'd been able to stay, she was going to come up and we're going to honor her this morning and pray for her healing. Amen. Mm -hmm. I still believe God can do it. Yeah. Amen. I believe God can do it. Amen. Well, if you've got the Holy Spirit in your heart and life today, I'm going to ask you to not quench it. Some things we shouldn't do. Do not quench the Holy Spirit. I want you to praise God. I want you to praise him for whatever that's on your heart and mind, anything he's done for you. I want you to praise him. Sister Kathleen, will you stand and praise him? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your spirit, Lord. Minister to all that are here, Lord, and fill our church, Lord, in our hearts and our lives, Lord. Thank 
Thank you, Lord. 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 Lord.
our close in prayer. God hears prayer. Yes, so yes. I would like you that would like to pray for Jessica. You can space yourself to come to the altar and pray for Jessica. If you do that right now. Yeah. I also thought that could be my granddaughter. That could be my daughter. You ever thought that? Listen, we're none of us are too good for that to happen to us. It's happened to a lot of folks today. I can tell you now, it can happen because it's been nine years this week that I've been alcohol free and I don't talk about it much because <laughs> it is in the blood. I don't alcohol probably way behind me. Praise I, God. I don't think it can happen to her. It happened to you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Lord. This young lady, Lord, needs your help. She had a toothache, Lord. She wasn't able to stay. But Lord, maybe that's just Satan's trick, but we know that you are much wiser. And we know that you can reach down and touch her right where she is, Father. And Lord, bless this friend of hers that brought her over. And Father, I ask God, Lord, that you would just reach down in a mighty way, Lord, and touch Jessica. Lord, take the addiction from her. We know you can do that. I know that a lot of folks say it can't happen, but I know it can't, Father. Take the addiction away from her and touch her heart and lead her and guide her. And Lord, not only that, she, she's around the enemy. So Lord, put a protection around her. Protect her from her enemies, Lord. And Father, I ask that you just give her that complete care and give her the knowledge, Lord, just to depend on you and trust in you, Father. Father, I ask this, and Lord, others too. I thank you for the testimony of Jeffrey. Lord, I'm the holy Lord, and you delivered him. You delivered him totally, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for that. I thank you for all the things you've done in the church and out of the church, Lord. I pray, God, that you might do more mighty work miracles, Father, Lord. And I pray, God, that you'll build the church once again and you'll touch people and lead them back to your house, Lord. They can hear your word, Lord, and they be refreshed in the Holy Spirit that they might be able to go out into the world and carry the banner for you. I ask that in the name of Jesus. I praise your name, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 God, liberty to go. You don't have to shake hands with us. You want to. I don't care. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll be glad when I get over up to